Today I feel like Casey Neistat. I don't mean that in a poser or a copycat kind of way. The brakes on the brat board have to be adjusted. That's way better. Did you miss the brat board? I know I did. I'm glad I'm finally getting it out. Let me try to explain before you start getting the wrong idea. Now, this isn't just a random thought going through my mind. Something happened, and, and it's right here. This box right here, I don't want to open it just yet. I kind of want to explain myself. So, to begin with, I don't think Casey, ne Casey Neistat probably won't see this video. And I'm completely fine with that. He's a very busy man, he's an entrepreneur, and he's a vlogger. Saying that, I appreciate anybody with hustle. And when I say that, I mean I like people that have the, okay, let's go do it. Let's get it done kind of attitude. Because in my opinion, that's the only way you're ever going to be happy in life. If you just sit around and do absolutely nothing, you're not contributing to yourself, let alone the community and the world. You won't feel happy that way, in my opinion. And that's why I have respect for entrepreneurs and servicemen and women. And that category can consist of anything from being a firefighter to being in the Army, Navy, or Marines. And if you're looking out for yourself and trying to get ahead in life, good for you too. So without trying to explain any more, let me just show you what's in this box. This is kind of a small dream that came true. I haven't even seen it yet. These guys. Can you kind of see where I'm coming from now? Now, if you don't know who Casey Neistat is, then you probably won't get any of this. Basically, he's got 7 million subscribers. He's a daily vlogger. He's a very good storyteller. And he has drones from DJI. Now, I remember watching him and seeing his equipment and being so amazed with his cool and entertaining drone shots. And I remember saying, one day I'll have a drone. And before I could buy a real one, the actual company contacts me. Holy, I am actually touching this right now. This is happening. This is in my house. This is, this is better than Christmas. This isn't a paid endorsement. They didn't pay me any money. They just sent me an amazing drone. Without talking too much more about Casey, let me actually get into getting everything set for their first flight. <laughs> Prince and I finally made it into the woods. He's on the prowl right now. He's after a chipmunk, I think. With winter being here, we haven't really taken him into the woods that often. And I wanted to get back to that because he deserves it. I mean, he's a good dog. He does what he's told for the most part. Oh, he found another one. Now they're just toying with him. They are toying with him. Prince, they're toying with you, buddy. There's two of them over there. They're, they're fooling with you. So while Prince continues to chase after chipmunks, squirrels, birds, anything else, I'm going to go for a walk myself and uh, check out the trails and see what needs to be done. Get ready for the season. I haven't seen Jake in a while, and I kind of want to see that dude. He's, he's a good time. But I mean, we're killing three birds with one stone. We're, we're taking out the new Mavic Pro. I'm getting exercise, and Prince is getting exercise. Come on, Prince, let's get some exercise. Yeah, 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 yeah. He loves this. Got some in your paw? Here, come. You good? He's just gonna walk it off. You're a crazy mutt, you know that? It's nice to get back out into the wilderness, isn't it? The wilderness is a good time. Prince, if you want water, I can hook you up with some water. Follow me. Come on, I'll hook my dog up. Yo, Scooby-Doo, where you at? Get down there. Now, when I tell you I can hook you up, I can hook you up. You have fun and relax. I'm gonna go check out some trails. Nothing too big blocking the trails right now. 
The only thing that's blocking anything is Prince and he's blocking my shot. Has nobody ever taught you any manners? So far so good. I mean, we haven't seen anything that we actually have to bust out the chainsaw and cut up and stuff like that. I don't know who's having more fun, Prince or I. Prince, are you having more fun or am I having more fun? Now don't be going mud bogging. Let's avoid this, good job. So I've been messing with this Mavic Pro throughout the woods, out in the field, and I really think it's going to contribute to the channel. This thing's going to allow me to get an assortment of shots, really. There's your whole drone, that big. I think it's fantastic that this drone is small enough that I can actually bring it into the woods, get it in between the trees. Granted, it is fall right now, so there's not that many leaves. There are a lot of bugs, though. I mean, I'm, I'm swatting them away every once in a while. So what I ended up getting in the mail was actually a Mavic Pro combo kit. And I'll explain a little bit more on what came in the kit once I get home. It's just Prince is having a lot of fun right now. Prince, you having fun? He's having a ball. He's having a ball. I think it'll be much cooler once I have like Jake or Seth or Ian or, or anybody get some dirt biking, doing some four wheeling, getting the gator out. And I have some future plans for the gator. I'm, I'm really excited about that. I wanna show you guys what came in this kit and what turned this redneck art into state of the art. My grandmother told me to say that line. So there you go, grandma. So obviously it came with the drone. It came with two extra batteries. And what's nice is I can have all three batteries charging. It came with a bunch of extra blades. It also came with this power adapter. So what you can actually do is take a battery, plug this into it, and then you have two, two USB ports and you can charge the controller or your phone with this. Thank you, DJI. I really appreciate it. And I'm sure my viewers will, these guys will. Time to charge this up until the next drone shot. Now that I actually played with the drone, now I want to go back to my Casey Neistat reference. I have to clarify it, otherwise it'll drive me nuts. There are actually a couple YouTubers that I approve of. Not just because I don't mention certain YouTubers, don't, don't, don't think that I don't approve of them. It's just these guys are on my radar. The first one that comes to mind is Roman Atwood. Very energetic guy, down to earth, likes to have fun, and he likes to stay positive. Next is Adam LZ. He as well as Roman Atwood likes to have fun, likes to stay positive, talks a little bit, but also does a lot of mechanical stuff. And then the last one that kind of relates to this whole thing is Tanner Fox. Tanner Fox is extremely energetic. Seems like he's got a good head on his shoulders. Very positive and very successful. And I appreciate that. I hope to one day meet a lot of you successful men and women. And just for right now, YouTube is my platform. I'm not saying that's forever, but that's the current platform. So I have to pay attention to the people around me. I was really getting sick of this happening. That. So Dalton, you can't be any of these four individuals that you speak of while you're bringing them up. Well, I'm glad you said that because I never want to be anybody else. I am Dalton 3D Machines. I'm from a small town in New York, not New York City. I make an extremely small amount of money by selling braptastic decals. The money I make from these will actually go towards the Gator. That's not going to pay anywhere near the whole thing, but it does help. I'm extremely proud to be me. I guess what I'm trying to get down to is the fact that my grandmother, well, my great-grandmother, she's now dead, her name was Bertha, she always told me to do what successful people do. Saying that, if any successful YouTubers just give me a little tip or a little trick on how to make better content and become a better person, then I listen and I incorporate that into my videos. The real reason why I bring up those four is because those are four successful YouTubers. They have the hustle, they have the determination, and that's why I recognize them. Now they all kind of went through the Casey Neistat thing, and the format, and the extra shots, and things like that. But then, like everything, people got out of it. The reason why those three got out of it, Casey, Adam, and Roman, I mean, I don't want to speak for them, but I do want to say what I think. And the reason why they got out of it, was because all three of them are very, very natural speakers. Me, myself, I'm not gonna say Casey's not a good speaker, but I'm not a very good speaker at all. Like I have trouble sometimes spitting out one sentence, let alone like an entire paragraph or an entire sketch or an entire scene. Like that was pretty impressive right here. I don't get those very often. What I have personally found is the fact that I like my shots and, and my footage to tell a story instead of myself. I, I like to kind of direct where the story is going by talking and narrating and things like that. But I don't necessarily like to constantly talk. That's just my preference. Does that make sense? I don't want to continue to talk about other YouTubers and, and how they relate to me. I simply wanted to say Casey Neistat had a perfect format for me and I'm glad I discovered it and I have him to thank for my success. And I just find it so fascinating that I would watch this guy in New York City fly a drone on a boosted board and I'm like, one day they're gonna send me a drone and today is that day. Like that's awesome. Does that ever happen to you? You like put something in your mind 
and you think hard about it and you really want it, you truly want it, you, you're determined to get it, and then you actually get it with sometimes not even noticing it, happens with me. Saying that, I wanna end this 3D Machines production by saying I will meet all of those individuals. Tanner, Casey, Roman, and Adam, whether they know it or not. It's gonna happen. That's not me being cocky. That just shows my determination to be great on YouTube and to give you the entertainment you want. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. If you're interested in the drone package, that's in the description. Also, the Braptastic, if you, if you want a Braptastic sticker, the details will be in the description as well. I hope you guys enjoyed your day and enjoyed this time that we had. I, I really hope I clarified everything. 3D Machines out! <laughs>